Hi guys, uh, this is Jonathan Lambert with the Mathematics Development and Support Service at the National College of Ireland. Uh, and this short video, another video in our series of videos dealing with correlation and regression, uh, is going to concentrate on the covariance formula and more importantly some alternative ways of writing the covariance formula uh, that helps you when it comes to hand calculations of the covariance. Uh, so don't forget by definition, so let's say by definition, uh, what we have is we have that the covariance of xy is simply equal to the sum of the x's minus the x bars times the y's minus the y bars, okay, uh, all divided by all divided by n minus one. It's the sample covariance that we're actually calculating here, okay. And uh, so what I'd like to do is I'd like to take this particular formula and I'd like to just convert it into I suppose two two additional forms. Okay, let's say this is the first form. This is the definition form of the covariance. Okay, this is usually what's provided. Okay, from a definition perspective. So I'd like to convert it into a form where we just have we just have expected values. We, in other words, we just have x bars and y bars, uh, and also into another form where we don't have the expected values. We just have uh, sigmas. We just have summation. So there's two additional forms that I'd like to convert this to. So what I'm going to concentrate on first of all is just the numerator. Okay, so I'm going to concentrate, uh, concentrate, let's focus, concentrate, concentrate on the numerator. Okay, uh, and we'll we'll do two derivations of it. So the numerator is the sum of the x's minus the x bars times the y's minus the y bars. So what I'll do is I'll just, I'm just actually just going to multiply out the brackets here. So this becomes the sum of the x's times the y x times y gives me the x y x times minus y bar gives me minus x y bar we have minus x bar times y gives me minus x bar y and finally minus times minus gives us a plus and we have x bar times y bar gives us x bar y bar okay and now this is inside you can see this is a, a, a summation of a summation okay which is just going to be the same of the sum of the individual terms so this becomes this is equal to it's the sum of the individual terms so it's the sum of the xy's uh, plus the sum of the minus x y bar which is going to be the same as minus the sum of the x y bar and similarly here we're going to have minus the sum of the x bar y and finally plus the sum of the the x bar y bar okay so now what can we do here well let's just recall that um, that the sum of a variable is the same as n times the average of the variable okay uh, so now we have this is the sum of x y so x y can be converted into an average okay because uh, the sum of w is the same as n times the average of w okay now in this case w is the x y so the bar has to be across the x y so actually this becomes equal to well the sum of the x y is going to be the same as the sum of the x y is going to be the same as n times the average of the x y so this is going to be n times the x y averages okay and uh, let's see what we got here well we have the sum of x's Okay, uh, times y bar. Y bar is a constant. The x is the iterator on the summation actually goes from i is equal to 1 to n. Okay, and so each particular observation is taken into, into, into account. But the y bar is a constant, so the y bar can be taken outside the sigma. So this becomes minus y bar times the sum of the x's. And similarly here, x bar is constant, so this can become minus x bar times the sum of the y's. Okay, um, and this is going to be plus, well, these are constants. X bar and Y bar are constant. Okay, and don't forget the summation is well. The summation is done from I is equal to from I is equal to one to n. So there's n of these. So this is going to be n times X bar Y bar. The important thing here is that this is the average of the X's times the average of the Y's. Whereas this here is the average of the X Y's. If that makes sense. And now we can see what we can do with sigma sigma x. Sigma x is just going to be n times the average of the x's, and sigma y is going to be n times the average of the y's. So this now becomes n times the x y bars minus well sigma x. Sigma x is going to be n times x bar uh, commutative. So this gives us n times x bar y bar and similarly here this is going to be minus n times x bar y bar because the sum of the y's is n times y bar okay plus n times x bar y bar so this actually now becomes well, what we got you can see that actually that term is going to cancel with this so this becomes n times x y bar minus n times x bar 
Y bar. Okay. Um, which I suppose is the same as it is the same as this is the same as n times x y bar minus x bar y bar. So we've converted the numerator okay into a different form. The numerator.